Before this video begins, I would like to officially announce my partnership with Evolve PCs, and as you can probably tell from the name, they make pre-built PCs, but the thing that sets them apart from a lot of other companies is they don't just grab your attention with a flashy CPU, GPU, and the amount of RAM the computer has. They actually ensure that each component of the computer is a quality component. They're not crapping out on the power supply or the motherboard or, or really any component for that matter. So if you're new to PC gaming, they have four different curated gaming PCs that they have meticulously selected the components for, as well as two curated dedicated streaming PCs and two workstation PCs. But don't worry, because whether you're a novice or an enthusiast, they have you covered. So if you don't want to select one of their curated PCs, you can reach out to them and get a custom gaming PC or custom streaming PC built for yourself as well. And that is what I did. I had a dedicated streaming PC custom built by them for me, which I'll throw a few pictures of on your screen right now. So if you're interested, feel free to check them out at evolvepcs.gg. And if you end up pulling the trigger on a brand new gaming, streaming, or workstation PC, you can use code SIRD to save a little bit of money on your end as well as support me. So if you've made it this far, I appreciate it. And without further ado, the video will begin. What is Dude, look at all these freaking snipers. Holy. Anyways, hello lads. I'm here on my boy Corn Pops' account. So shout out Corn Pops, really appreciate it. And I made a video a while ago where I was talking about the Antiope and I'm like, wow, it would have been cool if there was like a year two version so I could put Icarus on it. And then of course I get exposed in my comment section by everyone. And there is a year two version. So this is like the God roll in, you know, I, I think. This is sad. I just checked. Now I can't even put God roll in the title, man. Now it has to be almost a God roll. That's, that's just such a downgrade. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter that much. So it, it's cool. It's still going to be really, really good. It has SC hollow, GB iron, a choice between high caliber rounds and ricochet rounds. I know that they nerfed ricochet rounds a little bit ago. So maybe before it was worth using these ones. But now high cal seems to be the way to go. Wait, wait. Corn pops. Hold up. Corn pops. It looks like I'm getting some extra stability here when losing no range. I'm going to leave it this way because I'm just going to assume that he knows more about it than I do. Uh, and then you have under pressure and then kill clip. So improve stability and accuracy as the magazine gets lower. So that's that's a solid perk right there. Honestly, I'm really excited about the changes they're making. And as soon as you can one hit throwing knife, which if you didn't know that that's going to be a thing pretty soon, it's going to it's going to be good. It's honestly honestly going to be really fun to use. It's going to be fire. This is this is just bad timing. I'm in the middle of customizing my pizza hut pizza and i'm being put into the carnage that is the crucible now i've restarted the recording i had to play a warm-up game this obama netflix guy this guy's giving me fucking nightmares absolute nightmares this guy is insane well he's actually not that good but what he was doing is he was teabagging me every single time he was killing me it was making me very mad making me very very upset but anyways i've been told that i ramble too really bruh I've been told that I ramble too much in my video, so what I've done to remedy this... Oh, Obama, Netflix. Who, who, who's laughing now, Obama? Come on, bruh. Drop my nuts on your forehead. Boom. Anyways, I get, I get a little bit off topic in the middle of live commentaries, because, you know, you're in the middle of the game. Things happen, you know? You get... I'm gonna get teabagged. Oh, <laughs> respect, man. What I've done is I've actually pulled up some notes from my phone here. And I, ha I have some points, some, some main points that I would like to follow throughout the video to, you know, just to convey my overall message, you know, the inspiration for this video. And what that is, is uh, I originally made a video about the Antiope around like two-ish months ago. And I was like, oh guys, you know, look at the Antiope, it's so good, but you know, there's only a year one version, so you can't get Icarus and you know, blah, blah, blah. And then uh, I quickly realized that there is a year two version and this is, this is that year two version. But because I had already made the video, I didn't want to have like two, like a video that went up saying, oh, look how good the Antiope is. Uh, just kidding, there's a year two version that can be better. So I, I decided to wait a little bit and, and now I've made that video. Because in that video, the, the pretty much what I said is like the only real weak points is that you can get Icarus you're not getting that extra perk slot because it's a year one weapon and then on top of that i don't have any smg reload gauntlets my boy corn pop has hooked it up and he has enhanced smg reload gloves on on this character isn't that amazing and so that's one of like the main things when you have a gun that has kill clip on it you want to be able to reload as, as fast as possible and that's one thing that i mentioned in the video like oh you know it's, it really sucks 
that for a weapon that pretty much revolves around having kill clip, I can't even reload quickly. Because I felt like in, in, in the course of one game, I was only really getting to use, you know, kill clip like a few times, which seemed kind of pointless to me. So now that I can reload faster, it's definitely a lot better. So I, I suggest if you can get your hands on enhanced SMG reload, or just if you have the perk already to throw it on your gloves while you're using this gun, because it honestly, it really does make a difference. This is satisfying, man. Obama Netflix was just, he was such bad vibes in the last game. His vibes were just way off and now I'm destroying him. But I couldn't ask for anything more. That's tough. Now, I do admit that there is a lot less recoil when you're playing on mouse and keyboard compared to controller. So be prepared that my opinion of the gun on mouse and keyboard might be a little bit different than how it plays on a controller because there's a lot more recoil on a controller. Um, so this, this gun might not be as good for people that are playing with a controller or th that are on console or whatever. It's, it's amazing on mouse and keyboard. And when you're playing on mouse and keyboard, the game is a lot more mobile. Mobile. Obviously, it gets just as mobile if you are using like a scuff controller or if you play on uh, like bumper jumper or something. There's a lot more jumping involved. Uh, so that's why having the year two version with Icarus is a lot more important. Because that's like the one thing where when I was making that video, I was just like, man, you know, this... This gun is nice, but as soon as I jump in the air, I feel like I feel like I can't hit anything. And kill clip just seems to last forever. I don't know. It's just, just so good. And I'm sure most of you know by now that last word is like my go-to weapon to use while I'm sniping. But the thing about this is it's it's honestly just as good when you're playing pubs. Obviously, when you're playing like absolute top tier players, it's, it's not going to be the same thing. But when you're playing pubs, like it's just a chill weapon. It's like the same thing as last word, except for, you know, I just don't have to worry. It's just infinitely more chill. I get to relax the whole time. I never have to worry about, about too much, you know? The vibes are just, the vibes are just incredible. And last word doesn't even have Icarus. Can you believe that? Obviously this gun has Icarus, last word doesn't, which automatically means that this gun is better. So if you too are someone that likes sniping and you want a gun that is uh, that is going to destroy people at close range, then if there's any if there's ever a moment where you don't feel like using last word and, and concentrating that hard, oh, oh, sorry, sorry for 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 that interrupting, but if you're looking to chill, this is this is the go the go to weapon to do so. He's still just right here. <laughs> Uh, the handling isn't fantastic on it. So even though it does have Icarus, it's not one of those guns where you're going to want to be flying, like flying around the map the whole time, because every single time you jump, you can't continue ADSing the weapon. As soon as you double jump, it's going to kick you out of ADS. And because it doesn't ADS that quickly, you're going to find that if you try to just jump up whenever you're fighting anyone while you're ADS, it's, it's just not going to feel good. <laughs> And you're most likely going to jump up uh, and then get absolutely mopped. Oh, <laughs> oh man, that's 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 some bad news. Oh, <laughs> it was it was the same guy. That's so sad. It's always tough when you deal with people that have names that are in Asian writing because there's about there's a 50 50 chance, you know, 50% of the time they're actually from that country. And then 50% of the time, if it's Japanese, they just really like anime or uh, if it's Korean, they just love watching the Overwatch League. Something went wrong. I'm making my pizza. Something went wrong. What went wrong? I've handcrafted the best pizza you'll ever see Pizza Hut. And you're telling me it's wrong. Nice fusion rifle, buddy. Ooh, dude. That, that's the guy that's in first, too. The hip fire is really good as well. So it's kind of got me thinking that even though I was saying that you might not want to be jumping a lot because the handling isn't great. And each time you jump, you're going to have to re ADS. You can probably honestly just hip fire. Like the, the hip fire seems to be that good. Too. This, is, this is what I'm saying. More hip fires. Choose your choose your sauce. I want marinara sauce. Should I 360 quick scope him? Oh, oh my god, I'm so sorry.
Ooh. I, I can't decide. Was that cool? This was cool. Oh, okay. uh, never mind. There he goes, dude. Dropping his pathetic little sack. Poor guy. Why are you using a hand cannon, man? That requires aim. Be like me, buddy. Use an antiope. So that is going to do it for my video. I've been recording for like 45 minutes. And I think uh, I think you guys got a good feel for the gun. And um, as far as how to get the weapon, I'll probably include a little text on the screen because I have no clue how to. And um, uh, hopefully you enjoyed it, as I said before. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace. Also, if you did enjoy the video, then dropping a like would be greatly appreciated. Bye-bye.